Man, rest in peace, Kobe Bryant, man. I wasn't planning on making a video on this. Uh, a lot of you know, or a lot of you may know, if you didn't know, I live in, in uh, Asia. So I woke up at 7.30, picked up my phone like I usually do, and I see this, man. I can't believe it. I can't believe it, man. Kobe meant so much to me, bro. So much, man. That's my phone going off right now. I don't care. Damn, bro. This is sad. This is sad news, man. I felt the same way when, when Nipsey Hussle passed. It's crazy because some people in your life, they mean so much to you. You never knew them, never met them. They don't know you exist, but they have so much impact on your life, you know? I just can't, I just cannot believe this. I cannot believe this. Like, I'm sure many of you can't believe it as well. We lost, we lost someone very influential, I would say, man. Very influential. He touched a lot of lives in, in a lot of different ways, and he was doing the same thing when he retired. So, sincere rest in peace, man. And as a father, as a father, man, thinking about the way it happened, I could only imagine Kobe unbuckling his his belt, his seatbelt, and just like trying to get to his daughter in that moment and just his last words, man, gotta be like, I love you, man, I love you. Just over and over and over while she's in panic, you know what I mean? That's that's just a crazy, crazy thing to think about, man. This life is so short, man. This life is so short and unexpected, unpredictable. You imagine him waking up Healthy man, getting his daughter ready to go. Asking her if she's ready to go. And she's probably saying, yeah, you know. Not knowing what they about to get into, man. And none of us do, you know. I'm truly, truly touched. And I'm so sad for his family, man. His wife, everything they went through. She never, ever, man, ever left his side. She just stood by his side, bro, as her, as her king, you know what I'm saying? As, as, as a queen, equally important. And she just believed in him, man. She believed in him, you know? That's how it seemed. That's how it seemed. And nowadays with social media, you could kind of get a good read on on what's right by how it seems, you know? It seemed like they was happy. Family, man, family, things that are important. Waking up in the morning, just taking a deep breath, you know? Like these things, we don't always think about every day, you know? It's so much bigger than basketball. Like, there's no way I could play a game today, man. There's no way, like, I could play a game and perform. I know life goes on, but sometimes it feels like it stops. It feels like it stops sometimes. And, man, rest in peace to a legend, man, a legend. Like, that is not, I can't put into words what Kobe did for the world. In the game of basketball, what he did, it was just even more than Michael Jordan. He touched, he touched more people. He inspired more people. No matter who you are, man, what walk of life you, you're in, you're going through, you have to feel you have to feel this loss, like you have to feel this loss for humanity, this loss for the, the, the game of basketball.
Moment of silence, man. Moment of silence for two, four. Moment of silence for eight. Moment of silence for Bean. Moment of silence for Kobe. Moment of silence for Gianna. Moment of silence for Vanessa. Moment of silence for the other people on board and their families, man. Take advantage, man. Take advantage. If there's one thing you could learn from Kobe Bryant, was take advantage. He took advantage of his years, 18 years old in the NBA, playing at a high level. Going out the way he the way he did, believing in himself, shooting it every time. It doesn't matter. If you could go out, what would you do? You would shoot it every single time you touch the ball or could see the rim. And that's what he did, man. That's what he did. That's why you gotta love Kobe. You, you gotta love Kobe, man. No matter what, you gotta love Kobe. You gotta love Kobe. You might not think he the best. But, and I'll sit here and say, I don't think he was the best. MJ was the best. But Kobe, bro. Kobe, Kobe had his own space, man. Kobe was right there. The only thing, the only thing separating him and MJ is that he played like MJ. That's that's it. If he if he had a totally different game and was the same guy with the same mentality, put up the same numbers, same accomplishments, he he would be considered better than MJ. It's just that he's a duplicate, so we put MJ ahead of him. But Kobe, man. As a father, if you want to be inspired, look at the relationship he had with his kids. He didn't even have, he didn't get to have a son, but he treated his daughter in the same way, wanting her to, to be successful. Could you imagine how happy he must have been just to see his daughter passionate about something that he was? As a man, the, the business he, he carried out, the books he wrote, the cartoons he narrated. As someone that's all those things, a basketball player, a writer, a father, a narrator, telling you guys these stories, man, because I care about this shit. We could all have mama mentalities, man. We just don't know it. We just don't know it. Like I said, man, I wasn't going to do a video about this, but I'm sitting here and I'm just, I, there's nothing else I could do. There's nothing else I could do about, except talk about Kobe Bryant. Rest in peace, man. Rest in peace, man. Rest in peace, man. It's your boy, JC. Stunning growth, man. I'm out. What's funny, <laughs> the thing that had me cracking up all night long was the fact that I go through 20 years of Everybody's screaming to pass the ball. And on the last night, they're like, don't pass it. <laughs> I sincerely, sincerely appreciate it. No words can describe how I feel about you guys. And uh, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I, God, I love you guys. And uh, I love you guys. So yeah, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. And uh, what can I say? Mamba out.